Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about lymphedema treatment. I'm Dr. Alex Hill, your physical therapist for everything oncology and pelvic health. Let's get into it. Since lymphedema is a chronic lifelong condition, managing it is very important. If lymphedema is not managed correctly, the swelling can get worse and can progress to a more advanced, severe stage of lymphedema. If you need a better understanding of what lymphedema is, including the stages, make sure you check out my last video on lymphedema that goes through that. The gold standard for treating lymphedema is called Complete Decongestive Therapy, or CDT for short, and you might also hear it called Complex Decongestive Therapy. It has been extensively researched for decades and has been proven to be both safe and effective for any stage of lymphedema. That means it's really never too late to get treatment, but you will have better outcomes the earlier that you get treatment. CDT can be an intensive process, especially for those with more advanced lymphedema stages like stage two or three, and it has four components, manual lymphatic drainage, compression, exercise, and self-care. Manual lymphatic drainage, or MLD, is a specialized hands-on manual technique that assists with moving the lymphatic fluid out and away from the affected part of the body. This is not a deep tissue massage, folks. MLD uses a light touch and should not feel like a typical massage with really deep pressure. This is probably the number one thing that people say to me while I'm performing MLD, that they are so surprised with how light the touch is. Your therapist will teach you how to perform MLD and may recommend an intermittent pneumatic compression device, also known as a pump. These can be used for home use to help supplement the MLD. Next up is compression. That includes compression bandaging and compression garments. Compression bandaging is initially performed in the clinic by your therapist and you may be taught how to do it yourself at home. Compression bandaging uses layers of materials, including cotton, short stretch bandages, and foam to help reduce the swelling. Ace wraps and elastic wraps are not used. These act differently than the bandages used for lymphedema and can actually cause more damage. Compression bandaging is ideally worn 22 to 23 hours a day with a one to two hour break to bathe and complete the manual lymphatic drainage. As the limb gets smaller, it's rewrapped until the limb reaches its normal size or as close as we can get to it. It's important to have compression on the affected body part because without compression, the swelling will just come back. Once the limb is at its smallest size, then you'll transition to compression garments. Either your therapist or a garment fitter will measure you to determine the type and size of compression garment that will be best for you. I always recommend getting measured by a professional first, but then many people will order their additional garments online once they know what their size and type are that they need. Exercise is the third component to complete decongestive therapy. Staying active and moving your joints and muscles really helps to move the lymphatic fluid out of the affected body part. Additionally, wearing the compression bandages or the compression garments while exercising will further help reduce the lymphatic fluid or decrease the risk of worsening the swelling. Stay tuned for future videos where I will go through specific exercises to do if you have lymphedema. The last part of complete decongestive therapy is self-care. These are everyday things that you can do to reduce the risk of worsening your lymphedema. These include things like keeping your skin dry and moisturized with just a plain lotion or cream without any fragrance. Use sunscreen and insect repellent. Avoid prolonged exposure to extreme cold and heat, which can cause more swelling. Maintain optimal weight because obesity is a known risk factor for lymphedema. And if there's any scratches or openings in the skin that occur in the area that has lymphedema or is at risk for lymphedema, wash it with soap and water, apply antibiotics, and observe for any signs of infection. These include redness, swelling, pain, flu-like symptoms, and fever. 
Now that we've gone through what's included in complete decongestive therapy, let's talk about how they're actually implemented. Phase one is the intensive reductive part. This phase focuses on reducing that extra lymphatic fluid in the affected body part and moving it back into circulation. In this phase, most people with lymphedema typically see their therapist at least several times per week for manual lymphatic drainage, compression bandaging, exercise, and checking in on the skin and tissue health. This phase can last anywhere from two to eight or more weeks, depending on how long it takes to bring down the swelling and improve other symptoms, and if you're following your therapist's instructions for your home program. Phase two is the maintenance phase. This phase focuses on maintaining the results and the gains that you made in phase one on your own. This includes continuing MLD on your own, wearing the compression garments, exercising, and making sure that you take care of your skin. Lymphedema treatment can be overwhelming at first, but finding a qualified certified lymphedema therapist or a CLT is the first step on your journey. I'm including several links to trusted organizations below so you can find a certified lymphedema therapist near you and get the treatment that you deserve. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, turn on those notifications so that you don't miss any videos on lymphedema management. Thank you.